All right, sounds good, Bell. Well, in just a few hours, we will all lay down to sleep, some alone, some with a partner. And in the last couple of weeks, a lively conversation about how couples sleep has found a home on Twitter. And by lively conversation, I mean a no-holds-barred rowdy pillow fight. The tweet was innocent enough, just a fella asking, is it strange that he and his partner switch sides of the bed some nights? Well, hell hath no fury like an innocent question. Responses came in by the thousands. Sides were drawn on the issue of sleeping sides. And so I took this issue to sleep specialist Sarah Mo. The issue of sides. Is someone predisposed to pick a certain side? It all happens early on in the relationship. So once you start sharing a bed with somebody, uh, it really will happen within those first uh, one or two nights that you do spend together, and that will kind of determine where you sleep for the rest of your relationship together. Part of the Twitter debate here is this fella says, we just switch all the time. It's very uncommon, and I, I like that I noticed a few people said, hey, we do that too, is that strange? It is, it's, it's pretty strange. As creatures, we will continue going to that same side every night. So having that be something that isn't happening for a few couples is kind of strange. Strange, yes, but unhealthy, sleep-wise? It is mainly psychological. We take our, our sleep habits very seriously. When did the side become a thing? You know, I think it was probably when the bed sizes became bigger. Back in the day, most of us didn't sleep together. Our couples were farmers and laborers, and they had to wake up early and be very productive at work. And, and somebody else's presence in the bed would really very much disturb your sleep. So it didn't become popular until the 50s or 60s to have larger beds to really have everybody start sleeping together. Oh, so as a sleep specialist, what do you think of that idea of sleeping in the same bed? I am a, a huge advocate for separate sleep sections, and most people find that interesting or sometimes even offensive. Unless you feel rested. If you are able to comfortably sleep with your bed partner and everybody wakes up feeling rested and refreshed, absolutely. Okay, so you're not just quashing all romantic notions. Correct. Gotcha. If you can sleep soundly on a fixed side or as a side swapper with another person, aces. And if you can tweet about the bed habits of others without making hay, sweet. Just know there's no right or wrong, only sides, pillows, and angry discourse about all of it. <laughs> Those last two pictures are like the guy like starfish and then the lady's like, I'm mad at you. Any hoosies. I put this out on Twitter myself to see what you had to say. Most of you were not into this whole switching sides thing, and that's okay. I mean, those of you that can do it, good for you. And I did come across one last nugget that I think is interesting, and this is from a survey from the National Sleep Foundation. They found that 25% of us, one in four married couples, sleep in separate beds. Hmm, food for thought. All right, let's move on to something else. 